Researchers have developed an inexpensive blood test for pregnant women to predict premature birth. It can predict the risk of preterm delivery with up to an 80% accuracy. The technique can also estimate the age of the fetus and the mother's delivery date. The test is based on genetic material known as RNA that comes from both the fetus and the mother and can be found floating around in a pregnant mother's bloodstream. The type and levels of these free-floating RNA molecules change during pregnancy and can be picked up by blood tests. Researchers identified seven RNA molecules that seem to be associated with premature birth. Analyzing the blood samples from 38 pregnant women who were already at risk of preterm labor, researchers predicted pregnancies up to two months prior to labor with an accuracy of 80%. For the highest risk pregnancies, the test was nearly 90% accurate. To estimate the due date of pregnant women, researchers took blood samples from 31 women during the second or third trimester of their pregnancies. On the basis of nine different free-floating RNA molecules, the team created a model which predicted the correct gestational age 45% of the time. By contrast, ultrasounds can predict ages with a 48% accuracy in the first trimester of pregnancy. Unfortunately, ultrasound is rather expensive and still cannot predict preterm delivery. A typical pregnancy lasts about 39 to 40 weeks, and births after 37 weeks of gestation are considered full term. Any birth that happens at least three weeks too early is considered to be a premature birth. Complications due to premature births are the leading cause of death among newborns. Worldwide, 15 million babies are born premature every year, and 1 million of them die. Babies born prematurely often face problems with their eyesight and hearing. They are more likely to develop learning disabilities and suffer from neurological conditions. They are also more likely to experience a lifetime of lung disease. 8 out of 10 premature babies are born between 32 and 37 weeks. The mortality rate of newborns increases sharply for babies born after less than 32 weeks of pregnancy. These complications aren't cheap to manage. Babies born prematurely cost, on average, 10 times as much over the first year of life as those who were born full term. Multiple factors can put a pregnant woman at higher risk for having premature labor and delivery. For women who had experienced a previous premature labor, the chances of having another premature delivery increase by two and a half times. That rate jumps to 10 times if the mother's previous premature labor occurred before the 28th week of pregnancy. Being pregnant with twins or even more babies is another major risk factor for preterm deliveries. The rate of twins and multiple babies has increased over the past few years, and about half of these twins are delivered at 36 weeks or less. Half of the triplets delivered before 32 weeks. By having a better idea of whether or not a pregnancy is at risk of ending prematurely, families can work with their doctors to minimize the risk factors and make plans that will help mitigate the struggles premature babies face.